Portable air compressors are the best option for most people. They're more of a budget option, but they do work great for most cars. They can have overheating problems and take a while to air a big tire up though, so for off-roaders, they're usually not the best idea. For many cars, a small compact kit would work all right. I have 33 inch tires, and this option took way too long to be useful for me. Airing up just one of my tires from 15 to 35 PSI took half an hour. You also need a cigarette outlet available. The purpose of purchasing something like a portable air compressor is to allow yourself to air up your tires off-road. Airing your tires to 15 PSI gives you more grip on the rocks as your tire becomes wider and softer. If you have something like a beadlock wheel, you could air down even lower than that. You can't always run your tires at 15 PSI though. On the road, they'd heat up too fast and you would wear the inside of your tire out. For this reason, you need a way to air your tires back up after off-roading. Many mud terrain and all-terrain tires are designed with reinforced sidewalls and tread on the sides to be aired down. On any hard trail, airing down will greatly help with traction and comfort. You can also use these systems to air up inner tubes, basketballs, bike tires, etc. Onboard air compressors are the more expensive option, but I've got my money's worth on the trails with my setup for sure. I have an ARB single 12 volt air compressor. It's an onboard air system that's wired to my battery. It's mounted on an aluminum CBI off-road mount and it's very secure. This little unit is connected to an OEM style button off of Amazon and it looks completely factory. With the headlights on, it lights up a blue color like all of the other buttons, and when you turn the air compressor on, the air compressor button lights up. I'm planning on getting a rear air locker for my 4Runner, and this can also easily power that. It's the high output version, made by ARB, and so it works great with ARB air lockers. It only takes about two minutes to air up each 33 inch tire from 15 to 35 PSI. In this case, I went all the way down to zero just because I was in my driveway and didn't need to drive on the street. So that's why it took longer. I can air up all my tires, then a friend or twos without needing it to cool down either. If you need to air up even larger tires than a 33, such as a 37 or 35s, they get the dual air compressor. This is essentially two single high output air compressors put together, so if one needs to cool down, the other one can take over. This is probably a better option if you have something like a 37 inch tire that you air down to zero, or if you have a lot of friends that you need to air up their tires as well. The ARB kit comes with a couple different extensions. This one's just for regular tire valve stems. This one's for basketballs or footballs. This is made if it has a mouthpiece to blow up with your mouth. And this is one I use for my stand-up paddleboard. They just thread or clip on and then they work like any other pump. I use the basketball extension whenever I need to detail my car and blow the dust out of the corners or something. The only real major downside with a portable compressor or an onboard compressor is how much noise they make when they're running. A CO2 tank is the fastest option, and they're not very expensive. People love brands like Power Tank because of how fast they air up large tires, but they can run you up to $600 for the full kit. Also, you need to get these refilled every once in a while, and there's no real way to tell how much CO2 is left in the tank. If it's leaking or if you didn't weigh it before hitting the trail, you have no way to air up your tires. Filling up the tank only costs around $20, and after three-ish trips, you'll have to do that. 
Also, they do take up space and there's limited air. I like the onboard air system because it works every time and I always have access to air.